Okay, so we're going to be looking at a new prototype today, one that's very helpful, but very, very temperamental sometimes. And that's called sort. And sort will do something that you obviously can think of what it's going to do, and it's going to sort an array for you. So sort works very powerfully, so we can do an array. Let's make an array of uh, strings. So we'll do Z, we'll do B, we'll do not that, C, and then we'll go ahead and do D, and then we will do A. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and just sort it. And we're just going to apply the prototype to it. and let's console log it out and as you can see it clearly sorted it very nicely did exactly what we wanted to do now um, sort is very very temperamental um, and I'll show you what I mean in a second so for example let's say that we have some names in here we'll do whoa crazy We'll do my name, spelled right. We'll do my wife's name. We'll do one of my really good friends. And then we'll go ahead and do my cat. And we're gonna go ahead and lowercase that. Now let's take a look at this. Should work the exact same. And see it sorted it out there perfectly. Let's change this to an A, for example. Let's see what happens. So once again, you can see what happened here. A did not get cap did not get put in there. So this is where obviously that's not a name, so let's just do a na real name. Do Courtney's dad, Alan. See, Alan is still at the end because sort is very temperamental because and of course and according to MD boots or MDN it's unstable because it the way that it sorts is by ASCII key values or the unicode co uh, code points so the code points is different from a lowercase number or a lowercase letter to an actual so uh, to to an uppercase so if you change these it's going to work just as you thought it would. Oops. Oops. Okay, I'm having a hard time here. There we go. See, now it has clearly done exactly what we wanted to do. So that is just a point that you want to be familiar with whenever you're using this dot sort function is if you're using uh, strings that you have to make sure that they're all lowercase. And I'm going to make a video later on to lowercase, which is a very handy thing to make things lowercase. Uh, so yeah, um, and then once again, it's temperamental in another area. So let's go ahead and change this to integers. Let's go ahead and sort this out again. And once again, it worked out perfectly. We're totally happy with that. But let's go ahead and change one thing. Let's do 2 and then we'll do 20 here. Take a look at that. It clearly put 20 in the middle when it should be at the end, right? This is once again how it's unstable because 20 is a different Unicode than 4 and 8. So it's not going to necessarily do exactly what you want. And this is where you as a programmer need to come in and make sure that you have the basically make sure these numbers are what you need them to be or manipulate the sort. Now luckily it gives us uh, MMDN gives us a way to sort numbers uh, very easily and so what you have to do is just a little bit extra work here. So what we need to do is we need to make sort a function. So we're going to do that and we're going to pass in A and B and we're going to go like this and we're going to return 
A minus B. Now, this will work. Notice how it has changed it. So this is once again where if you're using sort for integers, you don't want to necessarily just do array.sort and just do that. What you want to do is this. This is a very handy function that you can make. That you just pass in A and B and then you do A minus B and then it works just the way you want it to. And that is just something that you just as a programmer need to know and be able to use um, to use whenever you need it to to work for you. So this is uh, this is dot sort, a very powerful function to uh, or prototype to sort things. And just be careful because it, according to its own documentation, it is unstable because it's based on the Unicode. So make sure that you know exactly what you're trying to sort and then do logic like this or lowercase them so that you can understand and know that you're getting the exact results back. And make sure you always test your dot sort before continuing code. All right, thank you.